What's the hardest would you rather question you've ever been asked? Would you rather duck a goat no one knows it happened or everyone thinks you fucked a goat but you didn't actually fuck it? First one, obviously. Win-win. It's him officer. I have a friend that works in child protection as the case officer who had to get a single dad arrested because he was ducking goats. The kicker was he liked getting caught doing it by people, the postman, delivery drivers etc. and finally the last one was my buddy and the police. He was literally mid-goat fuck when they arrived. Mid-goat duck sounds like a metal band name. Verizon's call center hiring process included a questionnaire. Unlike most questionnaires where there is an obvious answer, Verizon had a list of would-you-rather questions with no discernible upside. Would you rather work longer hours or deal with unruly customers, sort of choices. Anyway, I passed every part of their hiring process except that, which they stated made me immediately ineligible for hire. Because of the questionnaire. I feel like I dodged a bullet, though. Edit, since this blew up, I'm going to add my theory on why they did it like this. I suspect it is a variable answer set depending on what they needed. Management would send our what they were looking for, and our would key in the desired responses. Short-staffed? Answer A, someone who doesn't mind overtime. Getting beat up on call reviews? B, and plan on cutting weak reps once staffing won't be dire afterwards. Would you rather try and dodge a bullet or work in a Verizon call center? I'd rather get shot than work in a call center. I work in a call center and it is actual trash. I think this is a pretty popular one, but it's would you rather find a person or 1000 cockroaches in your attic? That's easy for me. It depends on the person but either way it's a lot easier to be friends with and help a person or kill one. It's hard to do either to 1000 cockroaches. Note to self, don't go in your attic edit, thanks for the gold whoever you are will go in your attic anytime. Would you rather have denim skin, or live in a bag of milk? This was asked at a party in college and I still think about it 10 years later. Hashtag X200B, edit to address some very fair questions. You can't leave, it's a bubble boy scenario, not a house. You're the only one living in the bag of milk, no one can enter. The milk is clean changed out when it needs to be. There is no loophole where you drink the milk and you no longer live in a bag of milk, sorry. I like this one for the sheer weirdness value. Agreed, would you rather sweat mayonnaise or not be able to tell the difference between a muffin or a baby? Also falls under this category. This one is easier, you choose the second one. You live a 100% normal life if you never interact with babies or muffins. Edit, this one sucks if you actually have babies smile. Good news everyone. Sob. Had someone at a rave ask would you rather give the first 90% of a blowjob, or the last 10%? This one's devastating. What do you mean, I can only pick one? How much would it take for you to suck a dick? Man, I'd pay anything to suck a dick. Would you suck a dick for a million dollars? Yeah but it'll need a while to come up with the money. Would you rather poop a pineapple or pee a grape? I don't want to play this game anymore. It'll just put you down for peeing a pineapple. Would you rather have legs as long as your fingers, or fingers as long as your legs? Fingers as long as legs and now chop chop. But what if the finger joints are proportional to their new length so if you cut them down to normal finger size it would mean you have 10 stiff, inarticulable digits on your hands. Would you rather have a horizontal butt crack or a vertical mouth? Horizontal butt will clap every time you go downstairs he he. Imagine going down a slide naked. FWPT 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 FWPT. There are a disturbing amount of questions in here that involve ducking your parents. I came here looking for fun fantasies and just found so much pain. Fluent in all languages or master of every instrument? The language one is more useful, however as a musician, I can't pass up the opportunity to master all instruments. I feel like that one would be way more fun, and also more profitable. A nipple-sized dick or dick-sized nipples? I mean, I'm a woman so, technically already have the former. Edit, I half-assed this comment and forgot about its existence 10 seconds later, imagine my surprise seeing how many upvotes it's getting. 
Would you rather be blind or deaf? It seems like an easy choice to say deaf since it would seem to be much less difficult to navigate the world being deaf than blind, but I once had a blind friend, who was not born blind and had only become so around age 17, who told me she'd still rather be blind than deaf because being deaf sounded very lonely. I still think about that conversation sometimes. You know, I don't think being deaf sounds like anything at all. I mean say what you want about deaf people. You gotta hand it to blind prostitutes. Would you rather have the ability to effortlessly run at 100 miles per hour, or fly at 10 miles per hour? Flying would be arguably be better for one reason only. If you wear a wingsuit, you can accelerate really high in the air and just stop flying and use your wingsuit to glide hella fast wherever you are going. Yeah, 20 minutes straight up and you could seriously go pretty far. Edit, world record is 18.27 miles from 13,000 feet up, so give or take 55 miles per hour run 100 miles per gallon, mile per hour lol, would make more sense distance wise. Only downside to the running is physical barriers like water. Unless 100 miles per hour is enough speed for somebody to cross a body of water on foot. According to Google, 70 miles per hour is what is needed for a human to run on water. Holy shit, Jesus was fast. Would you rather be able to have sex and never orgasm, or be able to have orgasms but never have sex? In the past asking this man and women both seem to have different answers on this one. I've both been an awkward teenager and taken Sris, so I can actually answer from experience. I choose sex. The one we always had was would you rather. Have a thousand cuts all over your body and jump in a bath on lemon juice or have a toothpick under your big toenail and kick a wall I'd choose the lemons edit. Toe. Definitely the lemons dear god. I might go toothpick. I don't want a thousand cuts. And it's probably a failure of imagination that the lemon juice doesn't sound that bad. When my friend's daughter was 8 or 9 she was obsessed with asking random would you rather type questions from a book she bought. It was a kid's book so it was nothing NSFW, just random stuff like would you rather eat only pizza or only ice cream, harmless things like that. So one night while I was out to dinner with her and her mother, she asked me, Uncle Scry 1 draw 1, would you rather be a door or a window? I thought it over for a moment, and for no particular reason said, I guess I'd rather be a window. Without missing a beat, she goes, hmm, you seem more like a door to me. Then flat refused to explain why. Haunts me to this day. I'm going to tell you an anecdote that may help you out. When I was a child, I would occasionally stand sit in front of the TV, for various reasons, wanting to see the TV closer, obliviously reading a book, etc. My mother and my mother's parents, when this would happen, would sometimes say, you make a better door than a window, as I would be blocking their view of the TV, and they wanted me to move out of the way. Would you rather be completely immortal or die right now? Immortality seems cool at first glance, but knowing you will eventually experience the heat death of the universe for trillions of years is terrifying. Would you rather have teeth for pubes or pubes for teeth? Armor unlocked. Imagine the growing pains. Would you rather spend thousands of dollars and put your old dog through major surgery to maybe keep her alive a little longer or accept that this is going to kill her and that 14 years was a good long life? Our vet yesterday gotta tell ya. No other were question has made me literally sob. Would you rather have pot roast or Philly cheeses for dinner? Currently sitting on this one. I can't decide for the life of me. Pot roast sandwich is my dude. Use the leftover meat to make a patro ass sandwich Philly style. Would you rather be constantly sticky all over your entire body, forever? Or constantly itchy all over your entire body, forever? I simply cannot choose. I got a really bad sunburn once and had the devil's itch. My entire back was incredibly itchy, and not anything I did could change it. It didn't even really hurt, it was just incredibly itchy. I genuinely thought it might make me go insane, I was straight up writhing on a tent floor. I have also broken my collarbone. Breaking my collarbone, and the subsequent surgery, were less uncomfortable than the few hours I was constantly itchy from the sunburn. Trust, sticky all over your body is way better than itchy. I've experienced being constantly itchy, not even over all of my body, and it was the single worst physical experience of my life, worse than breaking a bone. It felt like a bunch of ants were crawling around underneath my skin, and nothing I did would make it go away. A couple years ago I broke my leg in a motorcycle accident. 
open compound fracture of the tibia and fibula which resulted in getting a titanium rod and a handful of screws installed in my leg. Because the bone broke the skin, they also put me on an incredible dose of antibiotics. 80% of the way through the antibiotics cycle I developed a reaction in the form of an itchy rash all over my body. I do not hesitate to say that the itching was considerably worse than the broken leg.